Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Rick. Got something for me today? Shut up! I haven't read the paper yet. Goddamn! Nepotow died. Thought that guy found the fountain of youth at the bottom of a liquor bottle somewhere. Actually, I was more interested in this story. Why don't you read it to me again? Story tonight. Read it. Uh, sometime in the evening of October 6th, a man of slender build around the age of 20 is seen fleeing the Calamas Museum of the Occult. The museum curator tells us that the suspected thief stole a tomb, the tomb of Keek. That's pronounced tome, tome of Iahitha. Yeah. I was just testing to see if you were listening. Anyways, the tome, the tome was uh, stolen sometime in the night. He broke in. Is somebody there? Hey, you! Stop! Get back here! He was not fast enough to catch the skilled thief in his escape. So what? Uh, book is stolen every now and then. Well, that book is something special, according to the curator. He contacted you? Last night, told me it was of dire importance that I find this book. Said there was some kind of magical entity that lived inside it. Sorry, just making sure you were listening. Well, I am. You want to speed this along a little bit? Have you got some place to be? Yeah, I intend to be wherever John Nepetow was found this morning, because if I can find a story there, then... Always in it for the money. Don't, don't act like some kind of <laughs> saint, all right? We get paid the same way, client to client. Anyway, what's so special about this book? The curator said something to me today, and when he said it, it sounded very... The tome is laden with mysteries, but the most important is this. Ancient peoples of Egypt once said that whomever read from the spellbook's pages was to be cursed. Whomever read from the spellbook's pages would be forced by an unseen being to tell the truth about anything that they were asked. It is of the utmost seriousness that you find this book, ma'am. You may be my only hope. Complete truth, huh? I don't really believe that, do you? What does it matter if I believe it or not? I'm getting paid still. Always in it for the cash, huh? All right, I'm gonna head off. And if you need anything at all, just give me a call, okay? When have I ever needed anything from you? I'm not saying that you're ever gonna need it, but yeah, offer's on the table. 